We're going to use Descartes' rule of signs to find the possible positive and possible negative real zeros of this function. In using Descartes' rule of signs, you're going to look for the sign changes among the coefficients. And based on that, uh, will tell us the possible number of positive and the possible number of negative real roots. So let's use uh, Descartes' rule of signs and look at find the positive real roots first. So we're looking for sign changes between the coefficients. So when we go from the first coefficient, which is a 2, to the second one, which is a 3, we look for a sign change. We have a positive 2 to the leading coefficient. We go to a positive 3. So is there a sign change? No. It goes from positive to positive. The next one is positive 3 to negative 6. Is there a sign change there? Yes. Negative 6 to 6, another sign change. 6 to negative 8, another sign change. Negative 8 to 3, another sign change. So what does that tell us? That tells us that four times uh, this graph crosses the x-axis. So every time the graph crosses the x-axis, we have a possible root. So for the positive, uh, not root, but zero, since this is a function, possible zeros for positive, Okay, we have 4. Now to do the negative, we have to find f of negative x. So for all the x's we have, we're going to replace it with a negative x. And then rewrite the function, and then find the sign changes. That would be minus x. I don't know why I wrote that 4 inside there. Let me fix that. It should be on the outside. Negative x to the fourth. That looks better. Minus x to the third. Plus 6 times negative x squared. Minus 8 times minus x. Plus 3. So we're going to rewrite all these. Uh, the, the basic um, way to do this, or the easy way to remember, is every time you have an odd exponent, the sign is going to change. So for the first one, 2 times negative x to the fifth. That's going to be negative 2x to the fifth. And then where the signs or the exponents are even, the signs will stay the same. So the next one's going to be a positive 3x to the fourth. The next one will change. That'll be a positive 6x to the third. The next one will stay the same, plus 6x. Uh, the next one will change, plus 8x. That'll be a square there, uh, plus 3. So now we're looking for the possible sign changes, starting with the first coefficient, negative 2 to 3. Uh, that would be a yes, goes from negative to positive. Then the rest of these are all positive to positive. So in this case, it would be no. So all these would be no's. So how many possible zeros do we have that are negative? The answer would be 1. So if you put those together, 4 plus 1 gives us 5 possible zeros. And we know that this is a 5th degree. We'll circle it. It's a 5th degree function, 5th degree polynomial. And so we have 4 possible positives and four possible, or 1 possible negative. So that makes 5. So we're right on track to start finding all of our zeros.